is Seti the First's tomb worth the expensive ticket price to visit? I'm Gus with Egypt Adventures Travel. I create custom itineraries for trips to Egypt, connect travelers with vetted and trusted local guides, and I also lead private tours and group tours. Send me an email at any time, gus at egyptadventurestravel.com. Now let's talk about how to visit Seti the First tomb so you can decide if this tomb is worth it for you when you are in Luxor. Seti the First tomb is an additional ticket that currently costs a thousand Egyptian pounds, but that price will probably be increasing to account for inflation. You buy the ticket at the visitor center at the Valley of the Kings, and you also need the main ticket to enter the Valley of the Kings site. When I bought my ticket, I was able to pay with credit card, but bring cash just in case the credit card machine isn't working. And of course, if you decide that the ticket price to study the first isn't worth it to you, you still get to go into three tombs at the Valley of the Kings with your normal entry ticket. And some of the tombs, like the tomb for Ramses III, are really amazingly well preserved and are great options. But something to consider, another reason why folks like to go into tombs like Seti the First, not just because it's well preserved, but also way, way, way fewer people. There's been times where I've been leading tours and people have gone into Seti the First tomb and have been some of the only people in that entire tomb. Whereas other tombs like Ramses the Third could have a line all the way back out to the cafeteria. Now I'm inside the Valley of the Kings complex and behind me is the cafeteria. So we're gonna go back here, which is where the entrance to Seti the First tomb is. So make sure that you have your extra ticket for Seti the First tomb. And I showed you where you can purchase that at the visitor center early in this video. So I walked around the corner of the cafeteria and now behind me, I've got the first staircase, which is for a different tomb. Seti the first staircase is this one right back here. Head up there and have your Seti the first ticket ready and get ready to experience one of the best tombs in the Valley of the Kings. And for my visual folks, here's a layout of Seti the first tomb before we go down. So let's head down into Seti the first tomb and check out what you'll see on the inside. Get ready for tons and tons of steps if you plan on visiting Seti the First's tomb. What makes this tomb so unique is how large it is and how deep it goes underground. And also, not really seeing it at this point of the tomb, but the quality of the reliefs and the color that remains is great. However, I really think that Nefertari's tomb, and you can check out my YouTube video on that tomb to see what it looks like inside, is a much better preserved tomb and is definitely more worth it to visit than Seti the First. So if you're deciding between spending the money on visiting Nefertari's tomb or spending the money visiting Seti the First tomb and you only want to choose one, I would highly recommend Nefertari instead. You can tell though how few people are in this tomb. It's like we almost have it to ourselves compared to some of the other tombs that we visited like Meren Ptah or Ramses III, where we had to wait in line for about 20 minutes just to get inside the tombs. We're here in Luxor during high season. I took this video in late March. So it's one of the busiest times in the Valley of the Kings, but paying the high price for Seti the first tomb means that you have a tomb that has way, way fewer people in it than the other ones that anybody can get into with their entry ticket to the Valley of the Kings. For the next several minutes of the video, I'm just going to show you what you will see when you go into this tomb so that you can decide for yourself whether or not Seti the first tomb is worth the extra ticket cost. So if you have already seen enough to make your decision, feel free to skip ahead to the end of the video.
This is the deepest part of the tomb that we can visit, and the colors down here were just astounding. Definitely worth the ticket price, in my opinion. Now that you checked out the interior of one of the largest tombs at the Valley of the Kings, and the most expensive, you can decide for yourself whether it's worth it or not to visit Seti I's tomb when you come to Luxor on your Egypt adventure. Thanks for watching, everybody.